Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exoforce review, and this one's on the Iron Condor and Shadow Crawler from 2007. <coughs> so on the front of the manual, which just for like for uh, Iron Condor here, which have the LEGO Exoforce logos and Devastator Robot in the corner and the gold strip down below, and uh, set number eight one. 05 and picture of this of Iron Condor in action around the Golden City and on the back side which picture of most of the sets or smaller sets from the time add for Lego shop at home and Lego club and also a little how to draw kind of thing so of, of mostly Takeshi of course and also well, also to show is all the final building steps, and also all the pieces that come with the set, and also a little manga-style comic strip with that. If you're to pause and read, go ahead, or if you want to look at or read any of this, pause it right now. So that's about it there. <clears throat> so for our main we which have two different versions of the uh, Devastator robots, one of which with the translucent red kind of texture to him, which we also saw in probably the uh, Thunder Fury or whatever in the previous year, and also the one with the trans yellow effect to it, also in the uh, Sonic Phantom and a couple others in the previous year as well. Year as well, so both of which not so exclusive, and but also do you get traditional skeleton piece with well with the angry face skeleton one with the kind of floppy arms that one. But there's a reason why this one's a clue, which I'll show later. And of course, like all of these, so which has posability just in the hips and in the arms and hands. And of course, red technic rod bit to work for the eyes, of course. And from the backside, which just the hollow spaces of them, like the super battle droids in Star Wars, of course. And of course, Good mini fix to include in both of which, but although both of which kind of repetitive for that, but although would have wished that there, there could have been like an extra one of these or whatever, but whatever. And that's it with the mini fix. And now onto the Iron Condor itself. Which, as you can see, looks, although kind of similar to the Thunder Fury and a couple others from the previous year, but and also similar leg build as the uh, Exoforce mechs from also from this wave, of course, but at least a rich and also a little less pieces than the uh, Bad Guy robot or Bad Guy mechs from the prior year of course but yeah so now on to the feet which also like the uh, uh, hero max for this year uh, which comprises the larger jagged slope piece here but in yellow but and also with black uh, jagged slope pieces as well and also like the blade titan also one of these kind of bits on there and some more slopes on the sides as well. And as for the uh, thighs of which, comprise of mostly the uh, jagged slope pieces like the claw crusher kind of did, but unique stickers on them, of course. And also, like the Sky Guardian, has these 
little engine bits on the sides, of course. But unlike with that one is these little uh, fin kind of pieces, probably for extra flight abilities, of course. And for the, uh, the upper thighs, of course, or shins, and then thighs have the like traditional engine pieces of that. As for the hip section, which or the lower section, as you can see, comprised of that two-way joint there, and also a grill piece in yellow, of course. As for this upper canopy section, fairly much going on with it, except for like a couple of technic bricks sticking there, leading to these beams that have a couple of cone pieces on there as well. And also, uh, uh, hang on. And of course, the four studs of which to sit your uh, doves here onto, of course. And also, on both sides, you have these like jagged slopes, but on the upper side, which do have stickers on them. Also, a bit of asymmetry, like, do you get two translucent red cones on this side, and also tile piece with a sticker on this side. And, okay, well, tile piece with the code on it, of course. Although, what I think could have worked out is have this on these two studs on this hand part, and have two red cones on there, which allow for better symmetry, but also asymmetry continues with this missile bit on top but whatever but as for this armor here it's comprised of two different ball joint bricks onto there well probably since at this time is when they were getting introduced for that and also do have another jagged slope that has a similar sticker as the leg parts end but it's on this one bit of it and like some of the other mechs at this time, still using the Devs here robot arms for the fingers and also the uh, tooth pieces in red, which interesting seeing there. And as for the other armor, which just two different joints that lead to a hand connector joint and also old style launcher to that. And of course, I'm sure that by now all of you probably know how that how these work like. The missile bit, which in coming in red in this set, a little like that, and the core first launch off like so. And also, as for these wing bits, comprised of mostly some uh, like technic pieces there, but with some stickers on the inside part of them, of which, and also you have the set number on this one, of course. And also Devastator symbol on this one as well. And, and of course, you have some Technic themes going on through there. And leading out to these other beams, of which that swivel in and outwards and soft tilt side wings. And from the back side, of which barely much going on. And of course, have two Hordika neck, to Hordika bonicle neck pieces of that are for the wing bits that move on ball joints as well. And so now for some articulation. For the articulation you get good posability in the wings and also two in both arms that can go all around and for the uh, waist of it swivels back and forth and for the leg of which can go up and down. Well, since they're both ratcheted joints, can do so in all directions, and the foot can swivel back and forth. So in terms of posability, you get quite a good amount of it with this one. And about and that is it with Iron Condor. And now onto the Shadow Crawler. There's also 
quite cool one as well. At least kind of a tripod kind of effect going on. Like with these three like bits to there. And also and of course like all like most mechs of this line, you get some big pieces which made them reasonably priced. Like for all three legs or I mean the first two legs which are quite the same. Comprised of mostly these like long uh, slope pieces like we've seen on uh, Sentai Fortress of course but in black and also a large sticker going right down it of course. And also grill pieces in translucent lime green of course and also a another different jagged slope with a sticker that has the set number on it and the other which which has the a devastator symbol on it. And they are of course attached onto the ratchet joint kind of pieces as the other mechs do. And the one on the back, not at all any sticker onto it, but in a court, same piece as well. And this, which leads to this, which holds this two bit that goes onto this gun like section. But as for the center bit of which, which also has the set number. Oh, also the main set number on it, and comprised of a few other jagged slopes as well, and also those tooth pieces again in lime green, and also Pohatu Dufa of Bionicles, a clock piece, but in lime green. So for mocking, that'd be really nice to see. Nice use of that piece there. And also on both sides have a snot technique with some, with a jagged slope on there, of course. And also a few technique beams holding all the legs on. And also from top view, you have a little tile piece with a coat on it, of course. And of course, enough space to fit your other Devastator robot into, of course. And as for the like two uh, gun-like sections, well, two different kinds. One that's comprised with a, another jagged slope with a sticker on it, and two trans uh, neon green stud or yellow studs on there, and also two gun barrel-like pieces, uh, or, or support pieces as gun barrels, of course. And the other one of which, quite different, and with a tile piece on it, and also these on uh, bar like pieces from classic space sets that lead out to to a trans yellow stud or cones on it of course and that's for this back section which has these two dome pieces in a translucent yellow or lime green whichever you prefer but of course but also they can uh, split open and you can drop the skeleton mini fig into a course like he's been some character that's been taken and break it down into the skeleton, of course. And also, in front of that is this little the little uh, launcher that there is. It's like we've seen on most of the sets of this line. And of course, and I'm sure a lot of you probably know how these work like oh, from this side. Where you can pull that lever a bit. Oh, kind of hard to do. Uh, hang on. There it goes. Where you can tap on that and rapid fire like so. And so now for the articulation of this one is do you get ball joints on both of the guns in the front and also not only in the front bit of the legs but in the upper bit can since with ratcheted joints can go side to side and up and down, uh, obviously, and although it would have been nice if there were some other points of movement in the upper parts of the legs, but at least these would still kind of workable. Let me get this in. Okay. 
So for my overall verdict, I think these of which are quite cool sets for how they are. Like good consistent color schemes of black and yellow and black and lime green. And also, although would have wished we could have gotten other variants of Devastators in them, but at least these are still kind of workable. Like if you didn't get any of the sets from the previous year, this is also a good way to get them as well, of course. And also, kind of interesting seeing some like Technic panels in once on the Iron Condor, of course, used as the wing parts, of course. But aside from that, at least. The builds of which are quite solid, good posability, well for the Iron Condor, of course, and also the Shadow Crawler do get two minifigs in, in a small, in one of the mech sets, instead of just one. Well, unless it's the skeleton kind of counts, of course, but yeah. And also you get plenty of firepower with both sets, like the Disc Launcher and the, uh, the Spring Load Launcher, of course, but yeah. And so now, if any of you now if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who missed out on these sets and still looking to get them, well, definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.